Hey, what's going on? I um, had a comment in my last video that was talking about the difference between ska, rock steady, and reggae. Someone was asking how I do the double skank in, in reggae. So I thought that was actually um, a good idea for a video, and you know, I'm happy to share with you how I approach it. There's probably maybe some other ways to learn. Uh, I taught myself, so there could be other ways out there, but this is just how I approach the double skank featured in reggae music. <clears throat> Sounds like this. Notice the double skank is a quick up and down. You're catching the strings on the um, downstroke and the upstroke. So when you're first starting out with this, I think the main thing to focus on is, is the rhythm. It's so rhythm based. So don't even worry about what's happening up here with your hands. Like right now, I'm at a B minor bar chord. You could rest your fingers there just for when you're ready. And, and just work on your rhythm with your strumming hand while the strings are muted and just get the rhythm down. So with the double skank, it's the da quick down up that you're, that you're highlighting. And so here, here's sort of the rhythm. Notice I keep my hand kind of perpetually going. And when I start to put my finger down on the fingers down on the fingerboard, it'll just be during the down up. So notice down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. And it's nice, I just like to keep the rhythm going. And you can start adding accents and things like that in. Once you get a little more comfortable, just get this rhythm down. And then when you're ready, start pressing down with your hand on the fingerboard during the down up. So this is what your fingers will start to look like. Notice I just push down during the down up, down up. So that's the double skank and you know just it takes time if you're not not quite comfortable with it yet just be patient with it and work just work on this hand the strum and that goes in general I think for rhythm just get your, you want your wrist to be loose but controlled I think is ideal and gives you just so much more flexibility so just get control of that strumming hand, and then you'll know what to do. You'll know when to strum with your, with your uh, hand making the chord. Down, up, down. Alright, hope this helps. Thanks for stopping by. This is the double game.